Why were you so barbaric to kill Chinese fishermen? And why a country that is never stronger militarily than China would behave so barbarically against the innocent Chinese fishermen? It is surprising to me to see how portray China as a devil in the region. By yourself, look almost like an angel. In 2000 and 2013, Filipino Coast Guard killed Chinese fishermen from、uh, Thailand Island and from、uh, Taiwan. Why were you so barbaric to kill Chinese fishermen? And why a country that is never stronger militarily than China would behave so barbarically against the innocent Chinese fishermen? Please let please tell me frankly. I'll be very proud in responding to your question.、Uh, thank you for using the word barbaric.、Um, you know, coast guards in the region, not just the Philippine Coast Guard, is not a barbaric. All of these were already diplomatically settled now. But here's the thing: now, among the countries in the region, we all have a positive diplomatic relationships in discussing the South China Sea, and all of these countries have issues with the China Coast Guard and the Chinese maritime militia pretending to be Chinese fishing vessels.、Uh, thank you for your、uh, very interesting questions.、Um, For me to、uh, respond to the first question, I think there is really,、um, I mean, that's true. I agree with you. There are different variation of uh, uh, coast guard vessels that、uh, belong to various inventories, whether in the Philippines, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Malaysia. So, to the question, is there really a need now for us to have at least an agreed setting of、uh, defining what will be the armaments, what will be the characteristic of the vessel?、Uh, That would be a great idea, but、uh, let me first stress out, based on my presentation, that the regional coast guards among Southeast Asian countries, we have this um, um, something like、um, agreed regional norm that our coast guards are not really intended for us to have a much more bigger vessels or much more powerful naval armament, just like with the navy. We all agree that the regional coast guard functions, particularly Bakamla, MMBA, Vietnam Coast Guard. And even the Philippine Coast Guard is more on to support maritime governance, wherein it's only limited to maritime law enforcement, and then establishing cooperation for maritime safety and also、uh, in preventing the marine environment,、uh, protecting the marine environment, and、uh, enforcing maritime laws. Now, for the second question,、um, it, will there be、um, a, a, an influence from China as it? Um, build on more on、uh, bigger coast guard vessels and deploy also much more number of coast guard vessels. I, I would argue that、um, it has really influenced now、uh, the countries among the claimant states in the South China Sea.、Uh, the Philippines has been、uh, building up its coast guard fleet. You can also see that from Vietnam, also Malaysia, and even Bakamla of Indonesia. All of us are building our own coast guard. In a way that we can counter respond with the presence of the China Coast Guard, but to the, related also to the third question, will、uh, the increased number of Coast Guard vessels will eventually、uh, trigger a much more bigger armed conflict?、Um, I don't think so. I still have this belief that、uh, Coast Guards among the region,、uh, particularly here in Southeast Asia, we have this.、Um, Uh, kind of、uh, professional understanding among Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Philippines that we're not、um, going to be that aggressive or、um, aggressive to each other in a way that will be the cause of the conflict. We can see that from how Malaysian Coast Guard, Vietnam Coast Guard, and the, even Philippine Coast Guard passes through each other in the in the South China Sea.、Uh, we don't、uh, provoke each other. We have our own respect in、uh, those territories that we are currently occupying, that we are all patrolling.、Uh, I think、uh, our friend from Bakamla will also be able to strengthen this answer that I am giving now. We have that kind of professional understanding of our limitations, and、uh, also to add, as I said with my presentation, it's only China who bullies each other,、um, each other of us in the claim、um, among the claimant states. Uh, they are being aggressive and provoking towards Bakamla in the Tuna Islands. They have also been very aggressive、um, in responding to the presence of Vietnam Coast Guard and also with the Philippine Coast Guard and MMBA. So, if there is only one deviant behavior among the Coast Guards in the region, that would be the China Coast Guard. But among us, 
uh, Southeast Asian countries who have the professional understanding and um, uh, also knows how significant our roles is in maritime governance and also in maintaining this maritime order, uh, that is not a problem that will come across between Southeast Asian Coast Guard organizations. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. J, for uh, setting the stage for uh, exciting presentations from our other three speakers. Um, uh, may I invite the audience perhaps to give a round of applause to Dr. J? But before that, I think uh, we have just one last uh, question uh, from the floor, uh, please. Well, I'm a senior Colonel Jobo, retired uh, from China. In all your speech, what do, you, what do you want to say, basically, I can uh, anticipate. Uh, it's not a surprise to me, but uh, it is surprising to me to see how you portray China as a devil in the region, while yourself look almost like an angel. But let me ask you a question that I talked yesterday. In 2000 and 2013, Filipino Coast Guard killed Chinese fishermen from uh, Island Island and from uh, Taiwan. Why were you so barbaric to kill Chinese fishermen? And why a country that is never stronger militarily than China could behave so barbarically against the innocent Chinese fishermen? And is it because uh, that you believe these fishermen are so innocent, so can do anything against them? And is it because the Chinese policy toward you at that time was so, so tolerant that we did, do, did nothing against you, so you could do that? So is it uh, something that China should reflect to the extent that we have to increase our presence with a stronger Coast Guard? Please, let, please tell me frankly. I'll be very proud in responding to your question. Uh, thank you for using the word barbaric. Um, you know, Coast Guards in the region, not just the Philippine Coast Guard, is not a barbaric. You were mentioning about um, the shooting incident in Taiwan in 2013 and also uh, a maritime incident that happened between the Philippine Navy and Vietnam. All of these were already diplomatically settled now. We now have established a good relationship with Taiwan and also with Vietnam. But here's the thing now. Among the countries in the region, we all have a positive diplomatic relationship in discussing the South China Sea. And all of these countries have issues with the China Coast Guard and the Chinese maritime militia pretending to be Chinese fishing vessels. You keep on mentioning the word barbarism, but as I said, we abide with international rules-based order. With the images and videos that we have already presented to the international community, in which I know that the People's Republic of China is not really pleased, we have portrayed what you the word that you are saying, but I'm not going to use that against you. I think the transparency initiative that we have been espousing for the past months is a clear understanding of what the word barbarism is. Because Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Philippines will always abide with the international rules-based order. I just don't know whether People's Republic of China is also willing to do the same.